Hello everybody, welcome to the deciding game of Blood Bowl Super League Season 2. Um, it's very interesting. At the moment we've got three players on two wins, a draw and a loss. And then Flicky could join us if he beats me. If he beats me there'll be four players on two wins, one draw and two losses. Um, but it will go, so then it will go a touchdown difference, which means Rick will win. And Rick will qualify with calcium unless Flicky wins five nil. <laughs> so it's a it's a tough ask for Flicky to, to qualify. Um, if it's a draw, uh, calcium wins the group and I'm second. And if I win, then I will actually win the head to head versus calcium and I will top the group. Um, so yeah, there's there's Flicky's build same as uh, same as Fatins and PTKs. There's mine, which is you know heavy guard, mighty blow tackle. All as you would expect. In the booth, we've got Fimir and Calcium, who will take over and do the commentary while I try hard. So thank you very much, guys, and take it away. Hello, everybody. We're here to watch uh, the game between the two most dicey coaches in the history of Blood Bowl. Uh, ain't that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you have to believe their words, you know. You have to believe them. They're the most dicey the coaches in the whole history of the Blood Bowl game. I'd like to add, um, for Jimmy's intro just then, he actually uh, missed the part where he should have said he is an absolute awe of Calcium Kaz and the fact that he's managed to qualify for the playoffs with Underworld. Um, and he also undone Rick's mighty run with Ogres yesterday, you know. But Jim just forgot to say that, you know, because Jim, so. Uh, thanks, God, you are here, you know, to remember everybody about that. <laughs> in my humble opinion, Repeatedly during the, the next hour. Yeah, exactly. I've ever heard in my life. I, yeah, I broke 260 hearts yesterday in Rick Reckless's stream, and I did it with a little glint in my eye. <laughs> Winning the dreams of uh, Rick and his innocent uh, bunch of followers. So, this match. Um, Flicky's <clears throat> had a mixed bag in his inaugural season in the BBSL. Um, I absolutely, he's been drilled a couple of times, but pro elves, you know? So. He's due a really good game. So this is this is one where, uh, let's be clear, Jim's the better Blood Bowl coach, and I think Flicky would be the first one to admit that as well. That being said, if Flicky can keep his head, um, then, you know, he, he could do okay. Unfortunately for Flicky, minute turn formats really suits Jim. Jim is a fast player. He's almost as fast as I am. Um... You know, but he's an exceptionally fast player. He's regarded as one of the fastest, best blood bowl coaches. You know, because there are a lot of fast blood bowl coaches out there, but largely they're crap. Um, but Jim is the opposite of that. He's fast and he's exceptionally good. So, I think for me, percentage-wise, Faymir is probably seventy thirty towards Jim right now. I'll give uh, sixty-five thirty-five on honor of uh, Fliki because I like the team and the. the... Flicky has got uh, here, he has a lot of tours, but he's missing tackle. He's probably the only one of the few, very few uh, problems that I see on the team. So Flicky's dropping the shade in the chat. Yeah. BLGF, and I am due to ruin someone's chances. I hope it's you. Die, fucker, die. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Fudge. <laughs> okay, so Flicky will take this one. If if the OS gets stunned, he'll take that all day. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not bad, not bad. No, the you know nice uh, LOS hits. Now, yeah, time to hit the catcher with dodge with the tackle piece. Yeah, that's going to upset Jim a little bit. You you want to be you want to be injuring every hit with your mighty blow tackler, but running back into a protective position. Well, I mean, it's been a very good uh, turn one, one more oh, yeah, break yeah. and one uh, cast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you'd said that to Jim pre-turn one, he'd have bit your hand off. 
Ah, it's not about the failing the the vlog of the blitz, but that's all right. That looks like a pretty solid defense, doesn't it? Yeah. But oh, I look at that. It. So, uh, channeling his inner calcium and his thrower is refusing to pick up the ball. <laughs> That's uh, not horrendous. Better fail it now, you know, in the first uh, yeah. turn. Will is like, okay. I mean, I don't see Flicky doing anything crazy because no chance to reach the ball. And the elves, throw elves are fast, but not as fast. No, that's right. It'll be interesting to see how Flicky plays this turn, you know, so he's, he's got he's to push, he's got to put pressure on, you know, you, you can't sit back and just let humans keep shape, you've got to keep, you've got to put the pressure on. And that's it, there's an opening one side so he can uh, pull some elves there. Eeky little armor break. Flicky means business. A couple pieces also going through the... See now, I right would be... I don't know about you, Fame, but I'd be really tempted to base to base these two linos to the left and right of Jim's back line. I would be really tempted to base them. Oh, or yeah, even, yeah, yeah. Or even yeah, double yeah, base yeah. them. You know, put real pressure on Jim's back line. Um, more than base, more than base, uh, screen them and put a third player behind the two walls. Yeah, So he yeah. actually has to invest half the team in one side and half the team in the other side. Yeah. It would have been a high risk strategy for sure, wouldn't it? But <laughs> Jim's yeah, still uh, Jim's, he's still under a little bit of early pressure though, isn't he? Yeah. I don't like uh, all investing to players from flicking the uh, on the right side because they are easy to control. No. Yeah. If it was a third player behind them, I that is much more difficult but you have four players on one side. You see targets all over the place, but now I think Jim is going to blitz the Boloche step uh, guard with the tackle piece. Yeah. So, by virtue of Flicky not basing those two linos right now, what he's done is he's enabled Jim. Oh, Jim's going to go for the handoff. I don't know about that. I'd probably just cage cage the thrower. But any, either way, um, Flicky's now allowed Jim to create a tighter cage. Is Jim going to blitz the sidestepper here? Yes. Always a little bit risky blitzing a side stepper. I hate, you roll uh, double panels, I hate hitting a blitz stepper, but this time with mighty blow and tackle, too juicy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know about this handoff. <laughs> I don't know about this handoff. <laughs> the ogre covering the. All right. Oh, he's failed to pick it up again. That is oh, a disaster. Okay, no, no. Now we're business. Now we are business here. Nice uh, one in 81 from Jim there. Adding uh, some color to the match. Oh, that is absolutely horrendous. Luckily for Jim, um, every fucking time. <laughs> Luckily for Jim, uh, Flicky only has one elf that he can actually get and um, i believe um I, I should have the blood bowl client open i'm watching on jim's share screen but yeah, i believe uh, that's just a lino i'm doing both things yeah as the lino and the the catcher at the back the blotch catcher could also reach the ball or uh, try to bleach or uh, yeah uh, some roles involved but he has dodge there's only one uh, you know the that the uh, lineman on the right side is not very dangerous, and oh, yeah, it's the time for uh, Flicky to pull all the chips in. In fact, I think I think he was being too conservative, keeping so many players in the back. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine if he'd actually based both those linos there. You know, I'm as I say, my 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 suggestion wasn't without risk, um, but either way, Flicky's in a really good spot here. And I think Jim has made, you know, in hindsight, Jim probably made an error. Um, he could have run players further back to secure the position. So that's got to be an error on Jim's part. Jim has left this thrower high and dry. And look at this. This is a lovely looking screen now. <laughs> yes. 
Move, move the line, man. Put the pressure on the ball. Uh, yeah, Shibai. Um, Jim could have been wider with his humans. Um, I would have really liked. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, oh. Sorted, sorted. Chris is avoided. <laughs> Jim has done this for the last two seasons in the Blood Bowl Super League. He's beaten me both seasons by virtue of a scatter going into one of his players and catching it. I'm still relying on a dodge here. I had no choice but to rely on a dodge. But yeah, that was really unlucky from Flicky. If that ball had scattered anywhere... Yeah. Except there, then um, Jim would have had to roll more dice. So Blicky can count himself exceptionally unlucky there. That being said, Jim's still got to roll a three plus, and given his last couple of turns, that's a tall order. <laughs> uh oh, it makes it. Refuses the handoff, which is probably the uh, sensible yeah, thing to yeah. do. Don't, you know, don't tempt the devil. Normal service resumes for this half then, so um, the scare is over. I think Flicky can count himself a little bit unfortunate there. But that being said, well, Jim yeah. almost that elf tag in the ogre, didn't he? Almost. The classic hide a player behind the big guy. Now Flicky must be thinking very quickly, you know, there is any kind of chain or uh, something like that, because... But I think, you know, Jimmy covered uh, very well those uh, parts. Yeah, that's that's more of a mega bunker as opposed to a cage. Jim's, you know, the only real easy way into that cage um, is off, from the right-hand side. Um, but that would have been a, yeah, five plus. So nearly impossible uh, so because there are empty spaces between the pieces you know they're doing a chain in place very complicated very difficult or if you can uh, do them they're absolutely useless yeah yeah do you know what shit that i made this team before storybook brawl and it's like it could have been the you know, Blood Bowl Super Brawl or something. <laughs> they could have all been like... <laughs> good boy could have been in there and all the, all the things. It would have been awesome. But never mind. Yeah, that would, that would have been pretty cool. Next season, Jim. Next season. Ball is base. By Broches the guard. The... I like this Broch by Flicky. Yeah. The tackle is busy. Okay, so this has been a good recovery turn from Flicky, hasn't it? Um, yeah, 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 usually yeah, two yeah. plus mine, but so he's got a sidestep on the ball. Um, I mean, the problem now is like you know a lot of his elves are gonna get hit. That's the power. Oh, Although power from the gods. Yeah. To be fair to him, he was sidestepping into mighty blow tackle. Yeah. So you know, um, but... Jim. I don't want to cover covered by a guard. Yeah. You know, so I would, I would take that uh, spot behind the thrower every day of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you would have taken it, wouldn't you? But Yeah, but with the power, no, you just run away. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think Jim, yeah, Jim doesn't even, he just blocks it, doesn't he? Oh, look, Jim's rolling powers for days. So after Jim's little uh, dice faux pas with the thrower, He's rolling pals for fun now. Yeah, it's getting a Flicky. Flicky's commented, stop how my bod blodgers. This ends now. <laughs> Chris Almighty. Holy shit. All the pals, all the pals in the world, every single time. Okay, that's been, you know, a lot of nice rolls, but 
nothing has changed much. The ball is still stuck in the in that part of the field. Where's um, where's his wrestle elf? His wrestle elf is um, oh yeah. So his wrestle elf isn't really in a bit. Oh, Jim, Jim's tightening up the cage anyway. Ran out of time. <laughs> he ran out of time, but it's not horrendous. It's it's pretty secure. Yeah, he has enough guard around the ball and the players and all that, you know. Flick is going to have a really rough time trying to get the dice rolls. Yeah, he's in a bad spot now. A 1D chain. There oh, is a 1D chain. Yeah, good spot. Good spot. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. But, uh, yeah, okay. Shabit. Apologies in advance. But yeah, that's a good spot. Um, he can make it a 1D. Oh, he, what's he done there? Okay, now it's... No, he's just looking to rebase. Um, for the record, I preferred Shavit's <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> Three seconds, time for Ooh. Wow. Well, okay. That was a lot of rolls there. So, Blo um, Flicky's just thinking about, um, he's hoping that Jim's pals dry up. <laughs> Oh, well, it's another turn over the Blochester Vegard. Oh, that's not ideal, tackle. Jim. That's not ideal, Jim. He has a chain. He can use the lineman at the behind the guard to hit the Bloch step, the, the Blocher, yeah. and uh, move the ball up. Okay, or maybe not. Oh, there you go. That's a huge. Here comes the Apo. Apo, instant Apo. No doubt. Yeah, all day. Yeah, that's huge. Jim's pals here are killing um, Flicky's chances of stopping this score here, which is a real shame because Flicky's not done a lot wrong maybe he could have been more aggressive um turn first, one yeah when the in the first times when the jimmy the jim didn't go the ball in the turn one yeah Not many elves left in the pitch, but it's going to be turn six for uh, Jim next turn, and the ball is fucking far. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a massive issue. Humans, um, humans are pretty mobile, so as long as he gets past the LOS in turn six, he's pretty good. The problem is Flicky's, Flicky's elves are the wrong side of the pitch right now. You know, two thirds of the remainder of Flicky's team. Is badly positioned. Fucking hell, I'm playing so slow. This is fucking rough after not playing Blood Bowl for so long. <laughs> oh, that's, the that's the second time you've run out of time in it, Jim. Yeah, yeah, and probably in BBSL history, no, probably like the third time I've run out of time and twice in yeah. one match. That's fucking brutal. And the one time I ran, I ran out of time against Dio because I was like talking to chat and everything. So yeah, this is brutal. Brutal, and now he's getting served, but that's okay. Now I can move up.
I don't know if the surf, I, I don't know if the surf gets him far. Okay, so I'm, I might have, I might have opted for the surf just to commit players there. Um, because now Flicky's got the opportunity to get his elves the right side of this drive. So I might have taken the dodge there and let that player get surfed. And then Flicky couldn't do what he's doing right now, which is recover position. So Jim may well disagree with me, uh, but I think that's an error. Well, now the errors are more less trying to get a... Uh... Well, we'll see if Flicky's five or six elves can uh, prove my point. But, you know, it's not often I disagree with the mighty Jimmy Fantastic, but I'm afraid on this occasion, yeah. Like doing the Lord's, uh, the Lord's job. Yeah, but he ain't going far, is he? Flicky, uh, Flicky can make the next turn really tough. Really tough. Because he's in a much better position now than he was a turn ago. I won't go so far as to say that that single surf would have changed the shape of the remainder of this drive, but you know, Flicky would think, have gone I, for it. I don't think Flicky would have gone for it. You see, investing too many players in surf one player is pointless. If that is Flicky is so, avoiding all that power, that power, powerful power. Oh, that's shit. a huge armor okay, break. Okay, that's it. That's it. Drop what do we know? What do we know? There you go, so, there um, you go. There was a GG drop there. If in doubt, just punch him in the face. Hmm. Hmm. the uphill, we'll wrestle. Oh, if it works, is a... Uh... Pretty uphill with Wrestle, and... Yeah. I, f I fucking would. Well, you need to put someone to cover... To cancel the assist at the bottom, because you notice, like, three dice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so what I would blitz. do is I would, drop a, I would drop an elf on the free humans... Um, so you've got those you've got the three humans directly below the thrower. I drop an elf there. That will turn it into a 2D, I think. Three. Yeah, that will turn it into a 2D. Before doing that, bearing in mind he's oh no, he hasn't opted for it, so ah, I think uh, game. Three seconds, Flicky. Both blood bowlers nuts are shriveling up in the uh heat here a little bit, you know. He's run out of time. This is hilarious in my replay. He already ran out of time. And, but he's not moving anything. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> Classic Mr. Page. Last second bullshit. Oh, I tell you what. That's a pretty nice dodge. Fucking hell, my replay broke. Well, how at least I have a gym's uh, stream. Wow. There's a lot to calculate this turn, isn't there? Jim's got to think about scoring threats. He's got to think about caging. Ah, he's now in a good uh, position. Now he has uh, enough players to cage. They are uh, very yeah. advanced. The elves can, uh, you know, put a, a wall. 
I just, do you know what, with Wrestle, that 2D wasn't horrendous, was it? No, no, I, I mean, Red died uh, with Wrestle, also if you, you know, get a push or something like that, it's, it's alright. I mean, there is a... With, if you are uh, willing to invest a roll, there are many good chances you can get, you know, a decent result there. Yeah. Pretty simple. If you're going to make a 2D uphill, then say a prayer to Crystal Hunter, okay? The godfather of 2D uphills, and then you're good. Double pow all day. I'm not a religious man, but I've prayed at the Church of Chunter. Yeah, yeah, well. should put out um some form of uh disclaimer now this is minute turns and this is basically for all the playoff apples whoever wins this well jim needs to win this to go through to the playoffs i, I don't think a draw is good enough i so, think well, he draws you are the top of the league and he qualifies a second yeah a loss however would be the end of Jim's season, and he doesn't want that. Yeah. So he, he's still smarting from PC winning the first season of Blood Bowl Super League. Make no bones about that. That hurts Jim. That hurts him to the very core of his being. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but uh, you're a little bit over dramatic. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm just, just trying to build it up here, you know, just trying to uh, put a little bit of spice on it. I don't think uh, Jim is going to lost any hour of sleep because of that. He has lost them because of Storybook Brawl. Fair comment, yeah. Finished fifth, keyboard across the room, the <laughs> fucking mouse goes flying. <laughs> ah, that's better. I like prefer the, the art piece there. Uh, yeah, the wrestle piece should have been one square across to the left. Um, other than that, it's pretty solid. I think it's, it, uh, it looks like a 2GFI nope. score here. Oh, hang on. Is Jim's it... not going to push through that way, is he? 2 the... the... Oh, wow. The he's going to hand, got... hand off to the catcher. Yes. Sorry, Jim. That was wrong. Um, you're, you're banking and rolling a power against a sidestepper. If that hadn't worked, he'd have just sidestepped in the way there. Hate it. It worked out, but I don't think it was right. <laughs> still, it's a sexy way to do it, isn't it? <laughs> I still I had the roll, tackle, good chances, but maybe another option was. Well, any other option was involved in well, having to roll happen, three they? pluses or things like that. Yeah. Yeah, J5, there is that, isn't there? Jim Jim cannot complain about his block dice in that half. No, his no, block no. dice were pretty friggin' amazing. And the uh, KO from Felix stays out, and if he stays out for the second half, that's a reroll lost. Yeah. Was that 75% with a reroll? So is that according to Samba, is it, Joker? I think it is. Yeah? I've never used Samba because I'm not a C nut. So, you know, um, no, but I know Mars is how, like, how to uh, absolutely strip the soul and the fun out of this game. Oh, I know. I, I will calculate dice. every percentage to within an inch of my being. God, how fucking lame is that? To the Honestly. Akel is 50 something percent. So, yeah, with uh, yeah. 57 percent. 75 percent. Yeah. You know, I'd never want to tell anyone. I'd never want to tell anyone how to play this game or what to do because everyone is entitled to do what they want. But yeah, if you're the type the of guy that hits Sam for three or four times a game, then you're a bell end. You have been telling Jim what I should have done all the first half. We are commentators. That's our job. Telling you know oh, this is a good option, but maybe this is the other one should have been better. Uh, yeah, but at no point, at no point have I mentioned a percentage. 
other no, than no, the beginning of the match when I said yeah, 7 30, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> the best play. You memorize, if you memorize the percentages, then fair play. That doesn't make you a bell end. That I, that's how I do it. Yes, I also know the percentage more or less out of memory. <laughs> you fucking liar. <laughs> I don't use Samba. Yeah, it's more or less, you know. 50% with a reroll is a 75%. It's fine, isn't it? It's fine, you know. I know that from uh, picking up the ball with a bull, with a reroll. I know it's a 75%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the hardest calculation in the world, to be fair, was it? But... Okay, Flicky. Oh, Flicky's failing everything. <laughs> right, so Flicky's got to do a lot of work here, isn't he? This this doesn't look on, you know. Well, in the first uh, rolls, yeah, so losing the roll there is like. Oh. Pure depression. <laughs> yeah, I think he's bollocks it up already. <laughs> I think I think the uh, catcher needed to be one square to the right. <laughs> uh, let me check. No, he can push here. Uh, here. Yeah, he's. Uh... I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, no. So he needed to. He needs to fill in the square below, below the, the carrier right now. Yeah. Yeah, and he's realised it. Hey, let let you know. A minute turn. Trying ah, to pull off a one very, turn. Very, very difficult. Yeah, very hard. So, you know, no shade thrown on Flicky for that. No. Yeah, Flicky, you may have messed it up, but you know, don't be too harsh on yourself because it's so tough. Minute turns, um, yeah, makes paupers out of all us Blood Bowl princes. It really does. God, if this game was minute turns all the time, I'd still be playing it. Seriously, I love it. You, I you, love this you, you, you will get twice the anger. The anger. Well, yeah, but at least it wouldn't last for two hours like the average yeah. Rebel or OCC game. That's I played true. my last OCC game this week. Um, I'm probably not going to re-enroll for next season. Because the guy was taking three minutes to even move a player. Honestly, I'm in my I'm in my late forties for God's sake. I haven't got that long to live. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's yeah, quite yeah, selfish. No. <laughs> yeah, it's like oof. at least I have two screens. You know, like I have football in one screen and the other one could do all the stuff working or something like that. But yeah, yeah, it's just uh, and when things don't go your way and things start to turn uh, down and you have to wait minutes looking to the screen, uh, like yeah. But it was painful, honestly painful however blood bowl super league not only is it fun because it's a bunch of guys we all know each other very well you know um and we all largely like each other um mr page doesn't like me a lot but that's fine because he's not in it anymore <laughs> i don't think mr page has any bad opinion about anyone i mean the guy tends to be pretty chill yeah he's all right and he i've actually i really enjoy watching him play storybook brawl to be honest he's really good at it so uh it's not like in a tournament for a grand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jim's he's the one, he's the one that in the started post. the storybook uh, brawl madness in, uh, in the Blood Bowl community, more or less. Because I remember him yeah, seeing I can't him. Think of, I can't think of who I watched. Maybe I watched Jim play it, but... But yeah, Jim arrived it through others that came through Mr. Page. Yeah. To be fair, I generally only really watch Jimmy when he's on. Um, I watch Purple Chest when he's on. Flicky. Um, I watch Hancock. Um, watch a little bit of Andy Davo, you know, if I want to get to sleep early. Um, because, honestly, it's better than sleeping tablets. Um, but, you know, I don't really watch a lot of Mr. Page, Zigney and that, to be honest. So it must have been Jim. Chunter is really entertaining. I love watching Chunter. Um, but he's on holiday at the moment. He's having a little bit of time off, I believe. He, he went in a Blood Bowl holiday for two weeks. Four weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he will be back for the next season, maybe. Maybe. Do you know what? When you realise that there's a wonderful life out there outside of this stupid effing game, uh, it's pretty difficult to come back. <laughs> Yeah, 
To be fair, I'm only playing as much Storybook Brawl as I am at the moment because I'm on self-isolation because I tested positive for COVID last week. So, uh, thankfully, I was double jabbed and I've had no symptoms at all. So, thank you, science. There you go. There you go. Science saves the day one more time. Yeah. So, if you haven't had your jab because you think that Bill Gates is going to watch you wank, then you're a fucking idiot. Go and get your jab. Yes, because Bill Gates is already watching you wank. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alexa, stop Bill watching me <laughs> masturbate. <laughs> I'm sure Jim wants us to talk about the Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it was just the beginning of things. Oh, that Philly thing. I was going to say that the flicky is clearly aiming for a quick score. Yeah, uh, Chavita, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to them fl flipping the switch. <laughs> Brains. Fucking bring it on. Uh, getting that 5G everywhere is, uh, you know, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. I haven't buffered for a week now. It's great. <laughs> So ironically, uh, Famir, this is um, a bit of a carbon copy of the first half insofar as Jim is now going to be the one that applies pressure to a failed pickup. Yep. He can uh, cover very well the side base. I mean, if the elves want to score, it's just a uh, you know, pass to plus to catch, run away. If there is a catcher to pick up the... Jim in a rare oh, yeah, failed out. Oh, not getting a powder, big. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see a flicky. Oh, that's a horrible skull. I might, I might have eaten that. I may have had that skulls. Oh, Flicky, is easy go down. No, he's got sidestep, so he's good. Oh, that's, that's how I was meaning to go down with the sidestep. Ah, uh, right. And now he can go to the side. And now yeah, he's yeah, he in can. The yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Scoring range one when GFI. Well, but he's I think got the this... pass is going to be to the. The, the pass is going to be to the catcher on the LOS, isn't it? Because yeah. that's one LOS. Uh, sorry, that's one. Nerves of Steel, and the other one's got Nerves of Steel, so um, Flicky can literally score on a couple of two pluses here. Yep. He can pick up the ball, two plus to the catcher. Catcher has dodge, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I think... Although Jim Jim would, wouldn't hate Flicky scoring, um, it would be a real problem if Flicky could stall to about turn 12, turn 13, then Jim would have a real problem. But if Flicky is going for a two turn or a three turn, then Jim doesn't have such a problem. Um, you know, humans can score in two turns. But I've got a feeling Flicky's going to go for the early score here. Yeah, I don't see the how he can stall. Yeah, he is. There are too many, you know, human players in the local area. Yes, he's doing the nerve still doing a thing. There you go. And now two plus. No, he no, he's gonna stall it. He's gonna stall it. Oh, this is <laughs> squeaky bum time. No, he isn't. Look at that. Why didn't he just? I, I guess she, yeah, I guess protecting from snakes. Yes, just trying to avoid, you know, the fail state. Yeah. But I wouldn't do that roll. I just go for the two plus to score. No need to. Would you, Feyme, would you have stood there? I don't know how. I mean, the humans were, uh, you know, all over your players. It's like, uh, how do you stall? It's like your, half your team is going to get de deleted if yeah. you try to stall there. Well, yeah, but you're in the same boat now, aren't you? You know, you're, you're giving him you're giving him three LOS hits. Um, so I, yeah, I would have liked to have LOS. tried to. Turn or two Three hits in there. idiots. He was his best players were base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess so. So, I 
Shivit, I would have sco I would have I would have stalled for a turn there myself. I gotta be honest. But you know, I don't hate the scoring. So Jim's gotta feel quietly confident. If he can chip a couple of players here, then that's huge, isn't it? Yeah, but that's what the more is uh Flick is hunting. Flick is hunting with a failed step from uh, Jim now, being able to yes. he has three, six, nine players, that's going enough for Elves. He's following the all the standard of elves, scoring two, recover and score again in three. Yeah. In, in the good old days. Oh, absolutely, Rick. Um, how you doing, by the way? Um, thank you for the game yesterday, Rick. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was really squeaky bum at, at moments, wasn't it? And minute turns made us... Uh, I think we all both played really solidly, other than towards the end of the second half when we both made big errors. Um, but... Other than that, it was a really fun game. But yeah, Flick, he's got nothing to lose here, has he? Um, he, he can't qualify. So, But what he can do is he can break Jim, Jim's heart. And as much as Flicky and Jim love each other, you know, um, Flicky's still going to do everything he can to win this game of Blood Bowl. And yeah, so, I said, you know, I can, I can win, but I can make you lose. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember one of my pals in uh, when we were playing board games and strategy games. You know that was his tactic. At some point, like, okay, I can not I'm, from now on. I'm not going to be able to win, but you're not going to win either. I'm going to invest any single resource in destroying you. Yeah, absolutely. Make him remember your name. If you're <laughs> going to go down, go down swinging. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and he's like, but there is eight of us playing. Yeah, but I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's not yak. Uh, Volk, it's famous. <laughs> no, no, yeah, Volk uh, makes the same joke all the time, I guess. All oh, right, is it, is it an ongoing is joke? It, is yeah. it? Ah, right, okay, fair enough. Trying to make it a thing is not working very well. <laughs> okay, now the throw with the ball. Now, yeah, solid cage. I see some chunter level insanity from Flicky now. And he got a perfect defense. And I don't know which level has been uh, helpful. Yeah, we, we should have talked about his perfect defense because he did rather a lot of basing. <laughs> um, you know, Jim, Jim was pretty spread out on the LOS, wasn't he? I, I don't know if you would have avoided three LOS hits, um, but... As it is, he's largely got away with that LOS destruction turn, hasn't he? So, you know, he um, again, Flicky's got to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, he has options. He can uh, reach the base the ball without many problems, but from there, we'll see. Also, to remember, this is a regular uh, league format, so draws are a thing. And a draw is more than enough for Jim. Yeah, absolutely. So basically, that's what I did yesterday. Um, so when I was playing Rick, uh, Rick had to win to qualify. And all I had to do was draw to qualify. So Rick won the toss, received the ball, which is the right thing to do. So my goal was simple. It was to stop Rick scoring, which I managed to do. I was um, Rick's dice were really good and... I couldn't bust Snotling armor, <laughs> but I had enough players on the pitch to stop Rick scoring. And then in the second half, there, it was really, really interesting in the second half because there were times where I felt compelled to push forward and try to score, but I didn't want to, you know, because the draw was enough. So, yeah, I was definitely playing for the draw yesterday. Um, I, I, as it is, I did enough in the end. But, I don't like this uh, thing from Flicky. He should have blocked with the lineman and free the block step. Now the block step is there and he's going to eat a massive punch to the face. Yeah, Jim's got an interesting... You're, you're right, Fame, right, to bring this up because Jim's got an interesting decision now. Does he, does he go for the win to try to top the group or does he, does he just sit on the draw? He still I'll just, qualifies. I'll, for starters, I'll, uh, I will have bleached the blotch step uh, guard guy and see what happens. And from there, yeah, I see, you know. 
Yeah. Because that's with a massive difference, the most dangerous speed that the Flicky has left. To be fair to Flicky, a draw um, against Jim would be a result because not many people are drawn against Jim. Jim's got a pretty good record in the BBSL. Very good record, actually. <laughs> he's made a final. <laughs> you know, um, he's on the verge of another playoff position. Very quickly cementing his legacy as the second best BBSL player. Oh. Shots being fired. <laughs> Mama Bosco, yeah, I know. I did go a bit ranty there, didn't I? <laughs> Calcium rant? Never. <laughs> I know a draw will be enough because uh, Jimmy himself said it in the, before the game. I just arrived just on time to catch the beginning of the, of the game. But now Jimmy has taken, taking things easy, not taking many risks, protect the ball. Yeah, this is. Do you know what? This is this is in danger of being a non-half now, isn't it? Because no, uh, Flick is going to try. He needs to. Yeah. Uh, Flicky lives in absolute terror of the one in nines. He's absolutely terrorized to do uh, any roll with a piece without block. I think that's a mistake. He left to expose the block guard. It's worked well for him. Unfortunately for Flicky, he's not removed any humans, has he? You know, if, if he could chip a couple of these humans right now, then it would give Jim a real problem. It's, but, very, it's very difficult to take it away without the mighty blow. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. The, and you know. having only two rerolls, yes, right here, you know, the the thrower with the leader stayed out, failed the two uh, KO rolls, which he has a 75% of making at least one. I don't like hitting the wrestler, and that's why I don't like hitting the wrestler. So basically, Jim's mighty blow tackle is now prone. Why? Why would you not? Why would you do that? Why not just chip at a lino and just keep your cage? I would have gone for a lino or something like that. A very yeah. easy target. A yeah, very easy. That any, is... resa any resa that works with mighty blow versus armor seven. Yeah. So yeah, I I, I don't like that at all because now what um, Flicky can do is he can keep that mighty blow tackle out of position so jimmy has to stay close to that mighty blow tackle now to keep him relevant mike might go for the foul i don't hate the foul <laughs> i really don't hate the foul oh flicky stop rolling them shit dice holy fucking shit okay he was right that he was right that no the i don't really anything with pieces with a block so you've got to hit this hit the guard blitzer chain off another one of those humans and then foul the absolute bollocks out of that mighty blow. Just saying. Yeah, absolutely kills the, um So... Uh, I think that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, do you know what? That's a really nice chain. I, I might have been inclined to chain off another one of those humans. But actually, now Flicky's done it, I prefer what Flicky's done. Oh, Flicky, foul that frigging guy. Foul him, for God's sake. He is, he is. I think he is. Thank God for that. Go on, Flicky. <laughs> oh, Boom. big. Beautiful. That's the apple from Jim. Yeah, definite apple. And that was entirely Jim's fault for frigging blitzing a wrestler. Lovely response by Flicky there in the face of Jim's momentary brain fart. It was a good challenge, but yeah, I would have uh, go for uh, that piece, for example. Yeah, Jim responds with a stun. Um, 
would like I to mean, point Jimmy, out it's been Jimmy a pleasure commenting. Sorry, sorry, Fabian. <laughs> Jimmy is still in a very strong position. He is. Yeah, all he needs is a draw. So he definitely just yeah, protect that mighty blow tackler and just sit on this ball. Also, not protecting him, you know, uh, Flicky has to invest half his team yeah, yeah. to uh, make the foul. So. It's a real shame that Flicky, Flicky's season was over before this final game because, let's be clear, Jim's had the better dice this game, but Flicky has really put up a good show here. You know, um, I've been really, I've really enjoyed what Flicky's done this game. And I think he's played every bit as well as Jim. Yeah, I think he has um, played well. If I'm honest, I think he's probably played slightly better. And it's been a pleasure commentating for Jim's games. I probably won't get invited back. I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, well... Uh... <laughs> Enjoy uh, your uh, other streams. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> and there Lovely is the little stun there. Step, the veloce step yeah. on the ball. Got I mean, to foul him again. Got to go he's, balls out here. He now he's facing. The, the tackle piece, because if not the tackle piece, is going to hit the... Yeah, yeah. You've got, you've the block got step to foul him. And now Jimmy will uh, put a piece. Uh, the lineman that is at the bottom. Uh, one square, I'd one have, square I'd, higher. I'd have fouled him, Fame. I'd have fouled him. I, I don't hate what I don't hate what he's doing here, but I'd foul him. Yeah. And that is why. Look at that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, he, he has to do it because if not, he has uh, just move the lineman one uh, square up, and you can just hit the bullet step, and the bullet step has to move very far from the ball, so the ball will be safe again. Oh, and Jim now, will be yeah, thinking, the ball oh, is Jim will be thinking, why wasn't that pal? Why wasn't that pal <laughs> on the side stepper? Now he has to blitz with the guard. The... Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Cover the square. That's it. That's oh, the square. not getting the power. That means he can lock up two more players. I tell you what, Jim's in trouble here. That's it. Jim's in deep shit here. Fucking brother, the guards, man. I, um, kills me. I, I, I don't know if the ogre. Yeah, ogre block and potato, because if he stays. If he stays put, he's in danger of this cage being opened, isn't he? That close a lot of the options, but yeah, having the guard... The... Oh! Is the... oh. He's, yeah, he had to re-roll it, because otherwise uh, it would have been a 2D on the catcher, and then and a 1D on the... ball. Yeah. Put in the catcher, 2D on the ball. <laughs> Great pressure from Flicky here. Now Flicky can blitz the blitzer with the guard next to the ball, and, the, and then the block step guard can uh, hit the lineman and yeah. be again next to the ball, and he could yeah. have you know like two pieces. Yeah, and he's got ball. a built-in he's got a built-in scoring threat because his catcher is in a scoring position. It involves doing a. Uh, oh, that's rolls. big. Okay. Oh, here we go. And now here it comes to the end of the ball. With wrestle. Oh, he gets it. Got to go straight down. Straight down. There we go. Oh, it's a god scatter. That's the best square it could have possibly scattered to. Three plus pickup, two plus handoff, and it breaks Score. Jimmy's heart. 
Holy shit. There you go. There you go. It's going to happen. Come on. Come on, Flicky. You can do it, lad. Why have you put him... I was going to say, why have you put him there? You've just had a GFI to clear your own path, you bellend. There you go. Come on, pick up the ball. <laughs> oh, wow. What are we seeing here? There you go. Holy shit. What a play. And why have you run centre pitch? Why haven't you run over to the left-hand side, you massive bellend? Oh, Volcaggio. Yeah, chill out, man. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I don't know what I've done to upset him, but fuck him. Um, <laughs> you know, at the, at the end of the day, um, yeah, we. I've, I, I said, I've said from the offset, it's minute turns, mistakes are made. Maybe you missed that. Either way, don't give a fuck. Calm down, everybody. Yeah. One minute. That was a beautiful play by Flicky, by the way. That's why Nersov is still such a good skill. There you are. That seems sorted. But, yeah. Wow! Look at that! Boom, Jim. boom! Massive, drama, drama huge, in the end! Drama huge in the recovery! End. Huge recovery! Holy shit! There is no quit in Jimmy Fantastic, is there? In the blood, Amazing! Uh, Bloodguard piece. And where is the wrestler of uh, Flicky? Oh, very far in the middle of no no man's land. Now, if and and that now that was entirely Flicky's fault. If he'd ran over to the left hand side of the pitch, he wouldn't have been able to be sacked there. So you know, um, Flicky saying unbelievable. No, it was unbelievable. You didn't put your player over to the left hand side of the pitch. That was what was unbelievable there. So I'm I'm really sorry, Flicky. But again, that was entirely your fault. And again, you know, just for the dickheads out there that don't realise it already, this is minute turns and mistakes are made. Okay, but as commentators, we've got to call it as we see it. Yeah, we'll go as far as possible. Potato, like, you know, like a champ. Okay, he's trying to free the the wrestler. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. That that. That's his only. Well, yeah, because he's got no rerolls, so he's got to try and get that wrestler in play, any. He? What a game! I thought this second half was gonna dry up. No, no, no. What do we know, female? What do I know, no, female? Absolutely so... nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> we're, we're only here because we're the only available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jim, Jim would rather have PC, that's for sure. <laughs> I think he's balls this up, isn't he? He's blocked his own path for the wrestler. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And there we go. Jim survives. How does Jim survive that? Oh, oh Flicky's going to be so upset. If only if he'd run that, if he'd run that ball carrier when he stripped it, Jim of the ball, if he run that ball carrier over to the left, Jim <sighs> would not have been able to reach him. Oh, Flicky. My heart breaks for Flicky. Yeah, because he did the hard work. He absolutely played Jim off the pitch that second half towards yes. the end. Well, let's not let's not go too far, Calcium. But um, not too far, but he did a very very good uh, play. That was a really nice play when he. Yeah, he did do it. he did do a good play. I mean, the thing was, I went for the hit on the wrestler because the wrestler's the only threat at sacking the ball, really, right? As long as this cage is maintained, and then obviously was unlucky enough to one in nine it, and then after that got fouled and fouled and fouled and no, all armor breaks all the time, so never having the tackle available again was very, very, very unlucky. You gave Flicky the opportunity twice late that tackle, didn't you? I, 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 don't I mean, know I gave him you... the opportunity by rolling a one in nine, Kaz. <laughs> it wasn't like... Yeah, I, I know, but if you... 
You, he's the yeah, only chance he's got to sack the ball. He can, you, even, he can always dodge in and uphill me. He can just always dodge in and uphill me. Oh, yeah, me. yeah, absolutely. So were you intent on, so you're intent on just sitting on this, yeah? Sitting yeah. on the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't have to try and score, right? All I have to do is take away the only weapons he's got against me, which is the blood step guard and the wrestle dodge. Yeah. So while it wasn't a great blitz, one in nine yeah. times... Um, eight times out of nine, of course, it's fine, and I don't get fouled and fouled and fouled, and you know, I'm broken and I'm a broken. And, um, I'm yeah, broken. you know, at the end of the day, it was a harsh result, and yeah, yeah. but once that had happened, on, on he, did, he, he did play well, he did play well. To get he did exploit it, didn't that. he? Yeah, yeah, he did do he, all the right He exploited things. it really well, yeah, 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 and then he ran to the middle of the pitch and give you the opportunity to sack him. Yes, yes, that was very, that was very nice. And then obviously I was very lucky getting the, getting the scatter catch and then him not getting the power and everything. It was... What is it, it with you and scatter amazing. catches in the BBSL? What is it? You've done it to me twice. You did it to him twice that game. <laughs> no, yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? It was, it was ridiculous. Right. Well, they but have there cats. We go. Yeah, they have cats. So it's in the name. Yeah, that's why he was there, wasn't it? Because he was fast. And uh, he could get there, and he happened to have catch. Woohoo! <laughs> um, what a great game, though. I, it, was it was in danger of, of it was in danger of drying out second half because you were just going to sit on it um, and not do much, you know. And, and uh, Flicky could have quite well just sat on his one-one, um, not really having anything to play for. But he he went out on his shield, didn't he? Flicky. Oh, he did. He did, he, did play, he did play very well and do all the right things to get in the way. I wouldn't. I just objected to saying he played me off the park. <laughs> oh, that was a bit. No, 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 no. no. Well, yeah, you can object. No, uh, not in general. You know, um, just for those few turns, he really, he really exploited that position so well. You know, um, yeah. There was a two or three turn period there, where that's probably as well as I've ever seen Flicky play. You know, and we all know we all know Flicky's capable of playing really good blood bowl, don't we? So, you know, um, uh, but yeah, um, your dice were really good, weren't they? First half, you were rolling pals for fun. <laughs> they were, yeah. There was infinite pals. Um, yeah. Of course, there were always like backup plans and stuff if things had failed, but um, like it was very lucky first half. Yeah. Overall, unlucky. Funnily enough, thirty twenty four twenty four. Wild. Hello. Hello, Flick. I think Flick is here. I'm on us. Yeah, good game, Jim. Good game. Enjoyed it. GG, yeah. Fucking hell, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Just was... a load of elf bullshit at the end, but uh, you uh, you got the better of me. Yeah, I did, I did get I mean, as Calcium said, yeah, a bit of a mistake running central if you'd run off to the side. I just couldn't have got there with anything, yeah. could I? I um I had two seconds left. I had to move, and yeah, I, I just couldn't see where I should go, so I just ran anywhere. Ah, that's all right. Um, that was a beautiful turn, uh, Flicky. Loved it. Yeah, it was a beautiful yeah. series of turns. Yeah, yeah. After my after my one in nine blitz, it was exploited perfectly. Yeah. For sure. So yeah, very well played. Very. Good you game. too. You too. It was. It was a challenging yeah, one. I uh, I enjoyed that. I didn't enjoy getting powered nearly every block, but I did enjoy the game. Yeah, I enjoyed that, funnily enough. Yeah. <laughs> <You know. laughs> that, did make, that did make things quite a lot easier, just rolling pals on every single block. Yeah, that does help. Yeah. The fact that you made such a good game of it, Flicky, on the basis of Jim's near god dice pals in the first <laughs> half or so, speaks for itself. I, I thought you played amazing. I really did. Um, yeah, you, you know, you... I, I think the time is a thing for you. Are you do you struggle with the minute turns? Yeah, um, in two minute turns, I like to sort of sit and think things through and weigh up options. And so I haven't got that just sort of see it and do it kind of ingrained yet. Um, so I do struggle, yeah. But, I struggled um, that game uh, twice. I ran out of turn, which is yeah, which is really unusual for you, Jim. I was, you know, I was bigging you up before the game, saying that you're probably the best fast player that I know. Um, and there you go, running out of time. But hey, that's yeah. it's pressure as well, isn't it? Because you know, everyone wants to qualify for the playoffs. You know, who doesn't want to qualify for the playoffs of the BBSL, the most prestigious league competition in the whole of Blood Bowl? Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> And Dimmy's in it as well. Oh yeah, and Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Dimmy. 
Uh, yeah, so, um, well, thanks very much for the invite. I've had a, uh, a thoroughly good season, played some really good games against some really good coaches, and, uh, yeah, it's been great. Cheers. Thank you for, thank you for joining, uh, yeah, both of you, isn't it? So, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's great. So, yeah, Calcium wins the group. It does. There you go. There you go. He has remembering us every, more or less every single time. <laughs> <laughs> I would have won the group if I if I'd won if I'd won the game against Flicky. But then shut obviously. up, Jim. This is my moment. <laughs> I've just won this group with Underworld bitches. But I was lucky to not lose it. If you'd let if you'd let me finish, I was lucky to not lose it, wasn't I? In the end, so that was unbelievable. That was like from nearly topping it to nearly out, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, Underworld is very good, isn't it? Incredible record there with Underworld. Absolutely fantastic from Calcium. Fantastic from Rick, as, as always, with his August. <laughs> yeah. Really tight group, wasn't it, actually? Really tight group. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, why you keep letting Rick use ogres at these TVs, you know? He's going to get a monster team every single time. They're team. just so strong. Oh, um, you know, I, I remember, so I remember during Blitz Pit, um, in fact, Jim, you said that ogres, they're, they're trash, you know, they're, they're, regardless <laughs> of how they're built, they're ogres. Um, well, you know, Rick has actually proved that entirely wrong, and I sort of had that opinion myself. Um, but in this format, they shape up really well, and I'm telling you, Underworld shape. They Underworld have to shape up really well. Who would who would have thought me would you know winning this group? You'd behave with under, but Underworld are a really strong pick in this format. Well, in the other group is not so close. It's been absolute dominance from Christopher. Four wins out of four. A near dominance by Andy Davo, who only lost to Crucifer. So uh, Cruz has won that group. Doesn't even have to play his last game versus Demi if he doesn't want to. Um, so yeah, it's well, surely he wants to challenge himself <laughs> just to see if he can beat the champ. Surely, yeah. Surely. Uh, of course, Crucifer is going to play uh, Demi. You know. Yeah. Because he's a nice guy, you know, and I need uh, Demi hanging there. <laughs> so yeah, and I don't know. I don't know if Elliot's going to play Seabros, but. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's going to be Crucifer versus Crucifer versus me and Andy Davo versus Calcium in the semis. Should they, be Andy and Crucifer were certainly my two picks. Um, given the races they took, I think Crucifer did himself no favours last season. With um, he took elves, didn't he? Crucifer's not an elf player, you know. Um, oh, and you'll be surprised. Yeah, he's you'll be very well. surprised. He has. Oh no, no, don't get me wrong. He, he, like uh, Crucifer can play, no, 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 come on, don't don't start <laughs> throwing shade on me. Crucifer can, can play elves better than 90% of the Blood Bowl community, but he's not an elf player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's no, a chalk player. Know, yeah, yeah that's, that, that's, that's, that's what I meant, you know. Yeah. Um, so humans are, are sort of a halfway house between chorfs and elves, aren't they? And yeah, Crucifer is just arguably one of the best blood bowlers out there you know his ccl track record is unsurpassed and it's never going to be beat he is like the beyond borg or you know the roger federer of blood bowl isn't he you know he's he's just brilliant yeah the, yesterday at the final i was saying that the the ccl cup was a d6 role of a blood bowl you know with a five plus crucifer reached the final and a six crucifer wins the final that's it. If you the CCL cap was every season a roll, that's it. Roll at the six, a six, give the trophy to Crucifer and start again. Yeah, well that's it. He's got he's got a win rate of seventy five percent in the cup, which is I mean that is exactly what it translates to, isn't it? It's it's unbelievable. Yeah. And six six titles, so in uh, forty editions. So that's a uh, nearly fifteen percent. <laughs> yeah, that's So that's a, that's a six on a D six. And nine, I've heard many nine people finals. be on Borg, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely mental. Anyway, yeah. guys, I have to leave you. See you later. Have a nice day and a great game for uh, Jimmy and Calm Fan Flicky. And thanks to having a uh, big with me in the booth, uh, Calcium. Have a nice day. Hey, man. Cheers. Thank you very much, Fan Brilliant as always. Glorious. Would say, I would say, Jim, don't watch the VOD, but he was listening to the commentary anyway. So um, please don't um, rescind my commentary passes. <laughs> I didn't listen. I didn't listen to all of it. I listened to. I listened to a bit okay. when I put my headphones on to speak. 
That's okay, don't watch, don't watch the pod. Don't watch the pod, Jim. <laughs> I try not to listen to it because I feel like if you listen to something, then it puts you off, doesn't it? And like, yeah, it does. It, it just like, especially in a minute, like you know, in a minute, if you're trying to talk or trying to listen, then then you just get something in your head that wasn't what you were thinking of, and it just fucks you, doesn't it? So um, yeah. So really, I had someone yeah. being I had someone being a dick to me in your chat, but the bottom line is, this you know anything we say during the commentary is with a big rider that this is minute turns and it's really really difficult yeah you know so um that 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 has to underline anything we say um, and and so. it's and you're meant to be and you're meant to be uh entertaining aren't you and it's just your opinion you know at the end of the day isn't it like exactly yeah yeah um, hey and um, you know we we've known each other long enough to basically tell each other the truth whether you agree with that version of the truth or not or that opinion or not is in you know that that you know and hey we disagree on plenty of things don't we but mm -hmm. you know um christ it, it, that, and it is what it is do you know what i mean but yeah at the end of the day um i'm really glad i'm really glad you qualified because uh, what how does the playoff shape up is it purely random or is it like um the top place a second of the other division it's seeded yeah so it's it's chris versus me and you versus andy Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're a human mirror, and um, you, oh, that's going to be a that's great. going to be a couple of tasty games, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to those playoffs. <laughs> yeah, that, I, do you know what? I I don't think I have I played Andy before. I don't know. I think I think he beat me in a blitz pit. Actually, um, I think I may have played him once ever. You, you've got some weapons to uh, to take to Andy Underworld build. Like you, like you said earlier, Underworld build well. I, I, do you know what? I've had so much, I've had so much fun with Underworld this season in BBSL. I've actually, I've joined, rejoined the SFL, and I've taken them in SFL as well <laughs> because they're just fun. You yeah. know, if you lose with them, everyone's like, "Well, yeah, you're Underworld," you know. But if you win with them, or dare I say, win a division with them, holy shit! Um, no tackle. Look at that. Go no tackle, but also only eleven players, you know, versus Claw Mighty and dirty players. Yeah. Okay, he's yeah. got eleven regen, but um, you know, that's that. It's fragile, isn't it? Like it's a fragile team with only eleven players. Um, I got DP. I've got a mighty blow tackler for his ghoul. I've. I do you know what? I know it's Andy, and Andy is legit one of the best blood bowlers out there. It's absolutely top five. Um, I fancy my chances, Jim. There you go, all the best. <laughs> anyone can win, can't they? Any anyone can win yeah. any given day. I mean, I I would definitely I would definitely uh take the underworld uh the necro there, but it's it you know, it's underworld are always wild cards, aren't they? They're never they're never yes. too far away from winning, that's the thing. And obviously Singolo crushed me and uh you crushed me in the second half, so <laughs> it's like but I would have still taken my team in both of those games, you know? It's just you the, would win you? Yeah, you know yeah. what you got to do with Underworld. You got a high roll, haven't you? You you just got to pump those fives and sixes. <laughs> so you do that. Happy days. Yeah, glorious. Anyway, right. Thank. You. I should end this YouTube video. Thank you very much, uh, Fimey, who's gone. Calcium, who's still here. And thank you very much, Flicky, for the game. Absolutely glorious. Um, thanks to everybody. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>